On July 19, 2013, Six Flags Over Texas was a world of laughter and thrills, where the towering Texas giant stood as an irresistible challenge to adrenaline enthusiasts. For 52-year-old Dallas resident Rosa Sparza, it promised a day of joy and bonding with her family. But as the Texas giant began its climb, that promise transformed into a nightmare. A scream far from joyful pierced the air, and her daughter turned to see a sight that would haunt her forever. Her mother's feet in the air, panic in her eyes, and a cry for help that went unanswered. In a heartbeat, Rose was gone. This was no ordinary mishap. The Texas giant had been inspected for safety and subjected to meticulous planning and care, yet something inexplicable had gone wrong. Was it a simple failure of the restraint system? Or was there something more, a hidden truth that lay buried in the clatter of the roller coasters? An accident that affected only Rose, leaving a question mark over a ride that had promised safety. Today, we unravel the story of Rose Esparza and the Texas Giant Ride, a tale that shifts from joy to tragedy, challenging our faith in safety. The Six Flags Over Texas Amusement Park has always been a place where people go to have fun and feel the rush of excitement. Opening its doors on August 1, 1961, this park quickly became a favorite destination for both adventure seekers and families. Covering over 200 acres, it has a wide variety of exciting rides, shows, and attractions. Among the rides, the Texas Giant stood out. This roller coaster was no ordinary ride, it was something special. When it first opened in 1990, it was the tallest wooden roller coaster in the world, attracting people from all over. But the original wooden tracks started to show their age, and the ride needed a fresh touch. So in 2010, the park decided to give the Texas Giant a makeover. They replaced the old wooden tracks with smooth steel ones and added brand new trains, designed with safety in mind. This new Texas Giant opened to the public in 2011 with a more exciting layout and improved riding experience. But what made the new Texas Giant different was its combination of wood and steel. This hybrid design was the result of a $10 million makeover, and people loved the new and improved ride. It had wild turns, including the steepest drop of any wooden coaster at 79 degrees. The excitement of the Texas Giant had been reborn. Sadly, the ride that brought so much joy to people also became the scene of a tragedy. On a typical summer evening on July 19, 2013, the park was buzzing with excitement. Little did anyone know that the evening would take a tragic turn. On that day, Rosa Esparza was filled with joy and anticipation. Accompanied by her family, her daughter, and her son-in-law, the day had all the makings of a delightful outing. Six Flags Over Texas, with its thrilling attractions and iconic roller coasters like the Texas Giant, was a world of adventure waiting to be explored. In the joyful anticipation of the day's adventure, Rosa's daughter and son-in-law joined her. They were all eager to partake in the fun that Six Flags was renowned for, especially with Rosa being a grandmother-in-waiting. The impending arrival of a new grandchild only added to the family's excitement and gave them all the more reason to celebrate. Rosa was the kind of woman people naturally gravitated toward. Warm, nurturing, and with an infectious laugh that could light up a room, she was a mother, a wife, and a friend to many. Her love for her family was paramount, and she embraced life with an energy that was truly inspiring. She was a woman who believed in the importance of family bonds, cherishing every moment spent with her loved ones. Her family outings were legendary, filled with love, laughter, and a genuine appreciation for each other's company. The trip to Six Flags was meant to be another of those joyous family gatherings, and the Texas Giant Ride was to be the highlight of their day. That evening, as visitors flocked to the park, the ride stood tall, drawing Rosa and her family toward the promise of a great experience. While there was excitement in the air, Rosa, being a larger lady, had some concerns about fitting into the ride. Nevertheless, she was determined to share this experience with her family, fully trusting in the safety measures the park had always emphasized. After all, the new Texas giant was no ordinary roller coaster. It had undergone extensive renovations with smooth steel tracks and brand new trains designed specifically with safety in mind. Even the T-bar style restraints and lap bars with shin guards were meticulously designed to ensure secure restraints. The wait in line for the Texas Giant was filled with a buzz of anticipation. Laughter and chatter filled the air as riders prepared for what they expected to be the ride of a lifetime. 
Families, thrill seekers, and friends all joined together in a shared excitement, ready for the adrenaline pumping experience the ride had to offer. The sights and sounds of the amusement park were all around, and the distant roar of the Texas giant filled the ears of those waiting. Once aboard, the experience of the new Texas giant was breathtaking. The wind in your face, the heart-pounding sensation as the coaster climbed, and the thrill of the steep descent, the twists, the turns, the speed. It was a beautiful experience that left riders with wide smiles and a rush of excitement. But on that tragic day, the ride that promised so much joy would turn into a nightmare for one family. As the coaster began its ascent on that fateful evening, Rosa, seated in the third row, was filled with both excitement and fear. Excitement that she's with her family on the ride and set to experience premium joy and laughter. Fear on her part that she may fall, considering her doubts with the seat restraints. Her daughter and son-in-law, sitting ahead of her, were eager to share this thrilling experience. Everything seemed normal as the ride left the station. The restraints appeared secure, and the atmosphere was one of pure joy. But something went horribly wrong. As the Texas giant reached the steep descent from the first large hill of the track, the unimaginable happened. Rosa was thrown from her seat. She fell 75 feet, higher than a seven-story building, and struck a support metal beam. Her body then came to rest on the metal roof of a tunnel. Her daughter, hearing her mother's screams, turned in horror to see a sight that would haunt her forever. She had seen her mother attempting to hold on for dear life. The family behind Rosa later recounted how the seat restraint seemed to go down normally before the car left. But when the train came back, the seat restraint was down and Rosa was gone. The terror in the daughter's voice as she screamed, We need to go get my mom! sent chills through everyone nearby. Witnesses, including those in line for the ride, were in shock. Some riders were crying as they returned to the station, knowing that something had gone horribly wrong. The park, once filled with laughter and joy, was now filled with confusion and fear. The Arlington Fire Department arrived on the scene, and a funeral home vehicle was seen taking Rosa's body away later in the evening. Although it took a long time for them to find her body, People who were there that day, like other park visitors, were left in shock and disbelief. Witnesses like Casey Crow, who were either on the train in front of or behind where Rosa had fallen, were overwhelmed by the sight of emergency responders rushing to the scene. Those coming back to the station with tears in their eyes knew something had gone horribly wrong. Imagine, one moment you're in line for a thrilling ride, and the next you're witnessing a scene that would stay with you for the rest of your life. Employees at the park felt the weight of the tragedy, too. They were the ones responsible for ensuring everyone's safety, and something had gone horribly wrong. Even though records showed the Texas giant didn't have any ongoing issues at its last inspection, the accident left them questioning everything. They were committed to finding out what happened, but it was a long and painful process. The sad tale of Rosa Ayala Guana who tragically fell 75 feet from the Texas giant at Six Flags Over Texas, was making headlines. After the incident, a statement was released that said an autopsy showed Rosa suffered extensive trauma of the torso. This was due to her fall, and the cause of death was multiple traumatic injuries. As for the official cause, they said it was pending more investigation and lab studies. Bob Swint, an amusement park accident analyst, weighed in, he pointed out that how Rosa fit into the seat might have been a factor. He wondered out loud if her size prevented the restraints from properly securing her. And you know, that's a big concern. If you're designing rides, you'd want to make sure everyone's safe, right? Interestingly, Bob mentioned that there isn't a federal agency overseeing amusement parks. It's up to states. For Texas, they need two things. One, they need proof from an engineer that a ride is safe, and two, the park has to have at least a million dollar insurance policy for each ride. Six Flags said they were doing everything they could to figure out what went wrong, but they weren't letting local police or fire agencies look into it. They wanted to handle the investigation themselves. The Texas Giant, that huge coaster Rosa fell from, was closed, and it was said it'd stay closed until they were 100% sure it was safe. The CEO of Six Flags, Jim Reed Anderson, even spoke up. He said they were using both their own experts and some from outside the company to investigate. He promised that the ride would stay closed until they knew everything. 
Later, Rosa's family decided to take legal action. They believed that Six Flags was negligent. Their lawsuit was pretty clear, saying that while people expect a little thrill and maybe a harmless scare on the ride, no one should be in real danger. Six Flags defended themselves, mentioning there were some inaccuracies in the lawsuit. But they kept quiet about the results of their own investigation because of the ongoing legal battle. Eventually, there was some resolution. Rosa's family settled their lawsuit against both Six Flags over Texas and the German company that made the ride. Although the exact details weren't shared, it was said that Six Flags had set aside $3 million for the court case. Even though they reached a settlement, no one officially said who was at fault for the accident. In the end, Rosa's family found some closure in the settlement with Six Flags and the German ride maker. But the question of fault remained unanswered, a lingering mystery that would forever be a part of the park's history. After the accident, the Texas Giant was closed for about two months. When it opened again, it had new seat belts, new pads on the lap bar, and even a test seat at the entrance. This seat let riders see if they'd fit safely. There was some talk about whether the lap bar was properly fitted on Rosa, and her tragic accident sparked a bigger conversation about ride safety for all sizes of people. The broader theme of safety in amusement parks was pushed to the forefront. People began to realize that continuous improvement was not just a goal, but a necessity. The incident, though tragic, led to increased resilience and a commitment to making rides safer for everyone. This wasn't the first time something like this happened at Six Flags. Another sad incident happened in 1999 when a woman from Arkansas lost her life on a raft ride. But for Rosa's case, the medical examiner stated the obvious. Her fall caused extensive trauma to her torso. It was a grim reminder that while amusement parks are places of fun and laughter, safety should always be the number one priority. The tragic incident at Six Flags Over Texas on July 19, 2013, involving the new Texas giant roller coaster, will forever be a somber milestone in amusement park history. On that ill-fated summer evening, excitement turned into horror as a catastrophic failure in safety measures led to the loss of a life forever altering the industry's approach to ride design and safety protocols. This harrowing event led to a wake-up call for Six Flags, Rocky Mountain Construction, and the entire amusement park industry. The ensuing investigation, legal battles, and public scrutiny revealed shortcomings in safety instructions, restraint designs, and operational procedures. The incident acted as a catalyst for positive change, prompting an industry-wide renewal of commitment to rider safety inclusive communication, and continuous improvement. Enhanced safety features, multilingual instructions, and rigorous inspections have since been implemented in the new Texas Giant and similar rides across the world. These modifications not only reflect the industry's resilience, but its unwavering dedication to providing thrilling yet secure experiences for its visitors. While the accident's cause may remain veiled, the legacy of the new Texas Giant tragedy is clear. It serves as both a grim reminder of the risks involved in seeking adrenaline-packed adventures and an inspiring testament to the industry's ability to learn, adapt, and prioritize the well-being of its guests. The story of the new Texas giant transcends a mere accident report, evolving into a compelling narrative about human error, technological innovation, legal complexities, and the relentless pursuit of safety. It's a tale that will continue to influence and guide amusement park operations for generations to come, ensuring that guests can pursue thrilling escapades with confidence and peace of mind. As we reflect on this incident, we are reminded of the paramount importance of safety within amusement parks. It's not just the responsibility of the operators and manufacturers, but a shared duty among all visitors. Let the story of the new Texas giant be a constant reminder to always prioritize safety and vigilance during our visits to these temples of joy and excitement. Thank you for engaging with this content, and remember, your safety is always in your hands. See you in the next adventure. Don't forget to let us know what you think about the incident, and also watch our subsequent videos.